Well, good morning and welcome to Prepping for Prosperity. How are you all today? I'm Steve Smith. <clears throat> Boy, I woke up the Ramsey cult with yesterday's. My goodness. <laughs> oh, oh, I woke up this morning and as I was checking things, I had I had so many of the meanest comments about what a horrible person I am and for speaking ill of of King Dave and uh, <laughs> I mean some some of them they, those comments were something I took them all off but they they wanted to tell me how, how wonderful he was and how horrible I am and all that and my gracious uh, <laughs> I put something up over and, and I'm going to address that because we're going to be talking about paying off debt. That is important. And in some ways, I agree with Ramsey on this, and others I don't. I just, but I'm going to address that through a comment, a, a good comment that we got from one of our, uh, <clears throat> our members here who also thought, he, he thought I was a little too critical of Dave, and I explained that I wasn't, but, but we, we had a chat. I'm going to read those because it's very illustrative. And he, he brought something to my attention that I really hadn't considered, even though I have made the statement to myself many, many times. Uh, and so I'm going to talk about that. I just put some, I, well, I put a couple of things up over on the Patreon channel, if you're with us on the Patreon channel. Uh, and one of them is, is for, for it, it's a scream. It's a guy who, who says, and he makes a good point, don't do what, and this, this wasn't meant to be, and, and it's not going to be a Ramsey attack, uh, but all these come together, you know, one, one thing feeds into another, and that's the way that it goes. Uh, but he made, a, and I forget the guy's name, but I put his, his video up over on the Patreon site. Uh, he said, don't do what Ramsey says to do uh, to, to become prosperous, do what he did. And, and what he says to do is entirely different than what he did. And see, that's the point. That's what I want to get. So if you're over there, watch. It's a scream, but it's, the guy makes a great point, too. He acts like Dave Ramsey for a while, and it's, it's a scream. Um, I have some, by the way, before I get here, and I'm going to read AJ's comment, and then I have another one that I just got on, uh, on today's that is going to fit right into it. Uh, I'm using uh, Sherry Fancoli's flower notebook to get more... Um, to keep all of my different uh, videos uh, list separate. And I'm using hers to make the, the list of the videos that people have wanted me to do here on Prepping for Prosperity. It's really helping me out a lot. Uh, this is available on Amazon from Sherry. She goes, uh, if you want to find it over there, and it's not much money, uh, go to, uh, put in Flower Notebook by Sheridan Jones. That's, that's her nom de plume over there. And, uh, and maybe it'll help you get as organized as it's helping me get. So uh, I, today I'm going to do the one on uh, getting out of debt. And um, I, I'm going to do one on preparing for inflation. And then about passive income, because that's something that a lot of people want to know. And that's exactly, it, it's very important. And, and others. So thank you, Sherry, for helping me. <clears throat> transfer the confusion of scraps of paper <laughs> over to a no, no, nice notebook. Okay, I want to read what, uh, what AJ said here, <clears throat> because all of this is going to go into our topic for today, and that is getting out of debt. Okay, so AJ said, while I think Ramsey has some flaws in his plan, yes, I don't necessarily feel your criticism is totally valid. Okay, I, I'm always willing to hear this. Ramsey is for debt addicts. Right. Right. And you know what? Even though I and others have talked about this uh, to ourselves, sometimes we don't put it in those terms, and A.J. did, and he's exactly right. Ramsey is for debt addicts addicts. Okay, He's not necessarily for those who want to really get ahead and develop real long-term prosperity. And I, I know I, I probably just upset, so I'm going to get some from, from Ramseyites over that. Yes, he is. Now listen, people who can't control themselves and have an addict mentality. Yeah, that's right. You do, That's how he got himself in trouble. 
You don't tell alcoholics they can still have booze around when they stop drinking, and the majority of people that need Ramsey's plan would be lucky to have a debt-free life. Okay, I'm going to get back to that in a second because I'm going to take issue with that. It is for lower end to medium intelligent people. Now this this is you know this is AJ saying it's not me, but you know he put his his uh, comment up here, so it's you know up there for everybody. Uh, it's for medium lower end to medium intelligent people, and his one hundred thousand or his, his thousand dollar emergency fund is a good idea when the vast majority of Americans who don't have four hundred dollars in their accounts. Something like 60% of Americans couldn't come up with $1,000 in an event of an emergency. I've read those statistics, so I, I, I think that's probably right. Again, his advice isn't meant for people who want to go super far. It's for people who, in regular life, would be lucky to retire without relying on Social Security only while also having a paid-off house. It's average person goals. There's a large chunk of the population with low IQ intelligence, and that have sub 90 IQ. You know, AJ is exactly right. And that's very sad. But that's, I don't look at people like that. I look at people as adults. Okay, and I'll tell you what I answered. I said, actually, AJ, I was pretty easy on him with my criticism, and I was. I could have done a lot more. Uh, I could have gone much further, but I chose not to. You're right. He treats people like they are addicts who must follow one way, his way. I prefer to treat people, and here's, here's about you all. I prefer to treat people as if they have the intelligence and desire to better themselves if I simply give some basic financial education and direction. Okay, and, and he, he goes on and agrees, you know, with what I said there, and he, he has a couple of our... Um, Anyway, that, that's it. I, I want to go up here, and I had not thought, I, I've never thought about um, people being essentially, I mean, a lot of times I'll listen to calls and I'll say, how stupid do you have to be, you know, to, 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 to do that? But, um, but these are people who are addicts. Now, here's, here's something where I want to, to uh, separate from AJ. There is this idea, and did he say he was in this? He was the AA somewhere, I think he does. Let me, I don't want to misquote AJ because his comments were very good. Um, Alcoholics Anonymous. Well, he, he refers to the alcoholic type of thing, okay? Uh, are, are you aware? And a lot of people, and, and, and Ramsey does, he equates his plan with um, an Alcoholics Anonymous kind of thing. You have to stop drinking, you know, and where AJ says you don't still have booze around. Yes, you can. And what a lot of people don't think and don't realize is this. More people stop drinking and, and overcome their alcoholism uh, without AA than with AA. And with a much different uh, plan and with a much different aspect and outcome. AA preaches, they tell these people, you're always going to be an alcoholic. You can never have another drink. You know that old saying that, that one drink is too many and, and ten drinks is never enough, or whatever that saying is, I don't know. Uh, they teach people this. You have to abstain. You have to be in constant, constant support by, what do they call it, a sponsor or something like that to get out of it. Okay, There are people who need that. You know, I'm, I, I don't know. I'm not going to make a statement as to whether, you know, the ones who do that actually need it or whether a better way would serve. But I, am, I do know this, and that is that far more people overcome their so-called alcoholism uh, without AA and, and do it outside of any of that. And they are able to return to a, a, a normal, they can socially drink, they can have alcohol a lot, uh, around, they can drink because it's a change of thought process, not just behavior, but it's a change of behavior as a result of a change of thought process. You don't tell an alcoholic that they're an alcoholic for the rest of their life. You tell them, hey, you're involved in self-destructive behavior. Here's what it's doing. It's ruining your life. It's ruining the lives of your family. Uh, don't fall onto this crutch of I'm an alcoholic, I'm always going to be an alcoholic, I'm always going to have to identify myself as a recovering alcoholic. It, it's a very, you know, so, so that's 
where I come from on this. People who have gotten themselves into debt and, and credit problems, huge credit problems, have done so as a result of irresponsible behavior, okay? Uh, childlike behavior, childish. I want this. I want that. They have failed to assume the responsibility of adulthood, okay? And that's where I part ways with Ramsey. I choose to, to treat people, to see them, and, and to treat them as adults who can make adult-like decisions. It's, it's, you know, they're not children. They get into these problems because they're like a kid in a candy store. I want that. I want that. I want this. I want that. And if I can't have it, I'm going to stomp my feet. Okay? That, that's crap. That's crap. That's, that's the reason that we have more people in, in problems nowadays, and a lot, of them, a lot of them making good money. You know, a lot of people with, with incomes above $100,000 are in financial problems. Why is that? Because they buy too much. Because they want immediate gratification, because they find their gratification in what they buy and what they get and what they have as opposed to what they do. Right? Okay. So here on this channel... I'm not going to baby people because I see people as adults. If you're over 14, you can start. I, I have a 13-year-old son who, who has a better grasp on, on these things of responsibility than a lot of grown-ups I know. And my 16-year-old, well, he, he, he's amazing. I'll, I'll, do, I'll do that a different time. Okay, now I want to go back to um, a comment that just came in today because it has to do with this, and then I'm going to talk about getting out of debt. It is not difficult, but it is a mindset. Okay. Now, here we get this from Mary Shell Smith. Thank you, Mary Shell, for sending in your comment. She says, and it was on, is, is mine, is a credit score important? And, and, and my, uh, I don't mean to keep coming back to Ramsey, but, but the thing is so many people have listened to him that they've been misled on some very important things. That's what I'm responding to. And I make in, if you want to go back and, and watch my video on, is a credit score important? Yes, it is. It costs you money not to have a good credit score. And the people who out there who have gone along with this idea that, that I don't need a credit score, I, you know, credit's bad and all that, I don't you know. Well, they're being very misled, and it's going to cost you money. So that's what she's, she is, is on making a comment on that one. She says, the problem with this is that people who don't make enough money are the ones more likely to have a lot of debt because, and she, she uh, all caps that, because they have no way to just keep paying everything off, plus they likely also still need to use credit just to survive. Okay, there is the problem already. We, we have discovered the problem in that first sentence. There's a comma there. We'll continue in a minute. You, if you need, first off, you don't need credit to survive. You have to stop that thinking. You don't need credit to survive. You need to stop spending so much and make more money. If you are, have already stopped all of your extra spending, and by that I mean you're only spending on what, what you need to survive, then you need to make more money. And if you can't do that, then you need to go have somebody take care of you. Okay? I, I mean, it's sim this is why people in the used to sell themselves into slavery, because they couldn't support themselves. So here again, uh, Mary Shell, and I'm sure her heart's in the right place. She says, but because they, they, have, they have no way to just keep paying everything off, why not? Why did they live on credit? Because they wanted more than they could afford. You see, you have to take it back to the basic problem. They wanted more than they could afford. It's a very human problem, very human problem. But you have to fix that problem. You see, that's the problem. So, uh, so they have no way. So she's saying, uh, let me back up. The problem with this is the people who don't make enough money are the ones more likely. And she, she identified the problem, don't make enough money, okay, are the ones more likely to have a lot of debt because 
No, it's not. It's not because they have no way of keeping paying everything off. It's because they don't make enough money. Okay. Here, here we have the classic example of explaining away a problem by by, by inserting a false excuse. <clears throat> they have no way to keep paying everything off. Plus, they likely also still need to use credit to survive. No, that is the height of irresponsibility. Okay, make more money on top of not being able to pay their debt down. So they keep putting more and more debt. Why do you want to be like the government? That's why they're in problem. That's why you, you have a problem paying a lot of taxes. Those of us who pay a lot of taxes because the government keeps spending money it doesn't have and then saying, hey, you have to help us pay these things. Do you see where that's from? So they're taking money from a lender. And I'll say something else here. Uh, the lenders are not evil. I, I, Ramsey comes off on this. They're just evil. Don't pay them. Well, they're not evil. They're businesses. Okay. You agreed when you got that credit card, you agreed that in exchange for them to uh, let you use their money, you would pay them back. There's nothing evil about that. That's a business transaction that you agreed to. If somebody doesn't pay them back, you tell me who's evil. Okay. I'm, I'm not, you know, I'm not a, a shill for the credit card companies, but crying out loud, adults make these, these, uh, uh, these decisions and then whine about having to, to, uh, you know, do what they agreed to. We're talking about responsibility here, folks. Uh, and then she goes, she, she finally says, she says, most people who have enough money are able to pay their credit cards and bills on time. Yes. Right. Why do they have enough money? Because they make enough money relative to what money they need. Okay. So most people who have enough money are able to pay their credit cards and bills on time. So their credit stays good. It's definitely not as doable as you make it sound for the ones that actually need to bring their scores up. Yes, it is. It's exactly as easy as I have said exactly as easy as I have said. Stop spending more money that you make. Okay, that's it. That's simple. Now, maybe I should have said it's simple instead of easy because you're going to have to change behavior. Okay, so, so here again, we're using an excuse. Most people who have enough money are able to pay their credit cards and bills on time so their credit stays good. That's right. They're acting responsibly. You see, and, and but 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 too many people think like, well, it's just like a stroke of luck. Well, it must be easy for you. You make plenty of money. Why do you think people who make plenty of money make plenty of money? Because most of them, because they work their asses off, okay? Because they've built businesses, okay, and, and or, or whatever they've developed passive income that I will talk about. They have addressed the realities of their financial needs. Simple, simple as that. It's definitely not as doable as you make it sound. Yes, it is. Marichelle, I'm, I'm sure that you mean well. Uh, but you're wrong. You're wrong, huh? You're wrong. You're just as wrong as can be. It is as doable, and it has to be as doable. Do you know what makes it not doable for some people? Because they, they, will, they will latch on to that excuse of, it's just not doable for me. Just not doable for me. It's as doable for you as it is anyone else. Okay. Okay, let's talk about getting out of debt. Okay. Let's see where I am. Okay, we're at 19 minutes. Getting out of debt. Why are you in debt? It, getting out of debt is much like losing fat. You'll notice I didn't say losing weight. Because when people are over, have a problem with their body, as they're over fat, they're not, it's never a matter of overweight. I wrote a book on this a long time ago. It was called Winning the War on Fat. It's not, I'm going to put it up on Amazon one of these days. One of these days. Very simple. People who have become over fat is because they have eaten more than they needed. Okay? In order to turn that around, instead of having a caloric surplus, which results in fat. They now need to go through a process of caloric shortage. Okay. 
which will use that fat. Same thing, a uh, caloric deficit, they call it. Okay. Same thing with this. The reason that people are in financial trouble is because they have spent more money than they were taking in. And they did that because they spent money that one of these credit card companies or whatever, you know, could be your, your car loan or could be any number of things, yeah. Or, or it simply could be, you know, well, I won't get into that. You're spending more than you're making. A person who is spending more than they're making, the solution is so simple, but most won't do it. And I'm not talking to addicts. The people who need Dave Ramsey are not going to do well with me unless they're willing to think like adults. You stop spending more money than you make. You reduce your spending. Just like with weight, you stop eating so much and you exercise more. Okay, To get out of debt, you stop spending on things you don't need and you make more money. Tell me how complicated that is. Okay? And then here's what you do. You start paying down all of those debts you have. You act like an adult. You start paying those down as fast as you can. If you want, if you want to do it, and I disagree with this also on Ramsey. He says pay off the smaller one first. I think he calls it a snowball. I disagree with that. I, I say pay off the one that's, that's hitting you the most for interest. Because, see, now you're using your mind. You're not dealing with emotions. And that's the thing you have, you have to, to get rid of the emotions when it comes to money and, and think like an adult. Okay, I've got to straighten my, my financial situation out here because it's costing me money, it's weakening me. I, it's, I'm spending X number, hundreds of dollars every month on payments to these credit card companies. Not because credit is bad, but because I misused credit. Okay, the, the fault is not in the credit, just like fat is not in the food. Okay, it's a matter of you were irresponsible with the use of money, just like that person was irresponsible with the use of the cheesecake. Okay, but it's so good. Yeah, okay, well, you're, you're living with the results of it, right? So don't blame the cheesecake and don't blame the credit card companies. Blame the behavior of the person that's going through it. Now, you want to get them paid off as quickly as possible because you want to stop paying all that interest. Interest that you're paying them is, is money that you're making that you don't get the benefit of. They get the benefit of, okay? But, but they're, they were in business to do that. They were smart. And if you're, you're in trouble, you're the one who wasn't smart, right? I'll say that instead of using the S word, the stupid word. You weren't smart. You, you weren't um, responsible. So it's just as simple as can be. Stop spending money you don't have and start increasing the money you make and apply that to your debt, okay? That, that it's, it's, it's not something I invented. It's not something that Ramsey invented. It's always been that way. Go back to the Bible, and it says, the borrower is slave to the lender. Don't borrow in most cases. There are times, and I will be talking about, how do you, how do you make money out of debt, Steve? There are ways, okay? But you get this under control first. And if you really want to, to, to address long-term prosperity, increased prosperity, because that's what we talk about here, right? Prepping for prosperity. Oh, well, that's forgot. I need to jot this down. I will afterwards. What are the best things to invest in? I'll write that in my, on my list after we get off here because I forgot to. There, there is nothing new about this. And I had somebody say, Steve, how, 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 you know, you might address those people who have gotten in really bad situations with their credit cards. And, I, and so I will. 
run at your creditors, not away from them. Okay. I know that I've heard Ramsey say, screw those credit card companies. Uh, you know, they're evil. They're, e they're not evil. They're business people. They, they, you may not agree with them. You let me use your money, I will pay you back. If you don't, hey, get ready for some huge slams on your credit score. Get ready. I don't know why anybody would, would suggest that somebody do that not pay the money they owe. Hmm? Is, is that moral? You tell me. So if you are in credit card debt, contact those companies. I, the, the guy said, hey, there's some people that haven't paid their bills and they're afraid to call. Well, okay, the problem's just going to get bigger. Eventually, you're going to be hauled into court and uh, they're going to get it. And they're going to get a judgment against you and that is going to, to slam dunk you worse, dunk you worse than you are now. Don't do that. <clears throat> get up, you know, pull up your big boy pants or big girl pants. Get on the phone, call whoever, Citibank, um, whoever, um, Chase, whatever. I haven't been paying my bill. You see, first off, you accept responsibility. I have not been paying my my credit card payments because I couldn't, but I'm, I'm making a change. You see what we're doing here? We're, we're addressing this responsibly as adults and morally. I haven't been making my payments because I haven't been able to, but now I'm, I'm working more. I'm getting a second job. I'm whatever like this. I want to start paying this off. How can I do it? Can we reach an agreement? of payments or whatever. And they, they probably will. I don't know. I can't guarantee that. But even if they don't, at least you've done what is right. And I'll tell you, there is an immense payoff for that. There is an immense payoff for you standing up, saying, the problem is mine. I have been irresponsible. I have not done what I should, but I'm turning over a new leaf. This next part of my life is not going to be like the last part of my life. I am now going to take control of my finances. I'm now going to become an adult. I'm no longer a, a, a credit addict, a debt addict. And now I'm going to build something worthwhile with the rest of my life using my head and not my little childish wants. Does that make sense? Okay. I hope that it does. It's just simple. There is nothing complicated about it. Increase your income. That's why these, these things, I put out a list the other day about all the, all the new ways you can make money. You need to be out there doing. You don't <laughs> watch this thing, if you're with us on Patreon, this thing that... that uh, that the guy put up about, uh, he's acting like he's Ramsey, and he says, well, I want you to get a, do you have uh, a second job? Yeah, I got a third job. Well, get a fourth job. I want you delivering pizzas for, for $10 an hour for 168 hours a week, whatever it is. It's funny. No, you want to approach this aggressively and the right way. Be an adult. Dig yourself out of this. You're going to be able to look back on yourself with pride and say, I dug myself out. We we were just about destroyed back in the housing collapse in 2008. I'll tell that story sometime. And, you know, we didn't take bankruptcy. Everybody said we should have. We didn't. We dug back out. And as a result, um, did it the right way. And, uh, and built it from there. You all, I hope this has been helpful. Um, just realize, remember, it's all in your hands. And you can do what it takes to get through these things. Don't fall for these excuses. Don't fall for these excuses. Well, yeah, they can do it, but I can't. Okay, if you can't do what it takes, then you need somebody taking care of you. You need, to, to, you need a keeper. You, you need to, to 
to go back and live with mom or dad or find somebody, you know, who, who will take care of you. But don't act like you're an adult out here and, and things. But I, I know most of you are. So, so fight back. Fight hard. Get yourself out of debt. Then you can start really building. And we'll talk about that next time. You all have a good day. Remember, your prosperity is in your hands. Nobody else. It's not there if you're making excuses. It will be there if you are making goals and, 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 and do it with determination and take charge of your life. And I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.